So here with uh, Shane Golubic after that, you showed a ton of speed uh, coming down to the last uh, 25 laps or so back into that race, uh, end up finishing fourth. Uh, is that your career best here? Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I ran seventh with the Wilkies, uh, I don't know what year that was, a long time ago though. Uh, so yeah, that's my best finish. Uh, really wanted to get to the podium or, you know, I actually thought there for a little while I might have a shot to win it. Uh, Got to third, and I was kind of hoping uh, Logan and Tanner would get to racing a little bit. They kind of just played nice, and Logan made a lot of good decisions, kind of uh, searching the racetrack, and, uh, maintaining speed while doing it. He didn't really make many mistakes, and when he did, it was they were small and not enough to really get me going uh, to get a run at him. And Tanner just played really nice. And, I don't know. I guess I was just kind of banking on those two getting to racing really hard, and maybe I'd be able to sneak by on the bottom. And, uh, Maybe find the, if I, I kind of had a good feeling it rubber around the bottom, and I was, ho I was hoping to be the first to find it. But those guys both did a good job, uh, just running smart races, and they found it. And at that point, it's kind of just uh, race over. So, but yeah, my uh, my uh, car was really good. Um, driver did not do a good job to start. Um, it's kept getting tight through the center one and two, and losing the nose. And, but a few guys back. I think I was back. Uh, I think I was back to like eighth at one point. Um, and then started picking some guys off. Got back up to third there for a little bit. Thought we had a shot. Just couldn't finish it off. But my uh, my car was good. My guys did an awesome job. Not going to drink. Uh, Matt Wood racing everybody on this uh, on this team. It's a long, long week for us. Uh, a lot of work goes into this for us. And we're just not really a good team. Uh, very part time, so to run fourth was pretty cool. This is gonna sound, could sound a little dumb, but were you relying on the bottom to keep the speed in it and most of the guys to go up to the top and try to find that speed that's supposed to come there? Yeah, it's uh, like, I mean, I uh, usually, you know, in this race, everybody runs the bottom for a while and everybody did, and it, it, everybody's playing nice again, just everybody kind of just cruising along. People started switching, and, and by that time, I had struggled on the bottom enough to where I was kind of getting frustrated and, uh, on the top of a couple laps, but honestly, I just got back down um, and my car was really good and I was able to capitalize on other people hitting the curb and uh, throwing the nose and just losing momentum and I'd be able to sneak by and uh, pick three or four cars off that way. So, um, and I felt like I was reeling the leaders in or at least keeping pace with them, so I just committed and I uh, was hoping, you know, with the way the track's been the last few nights and then even tonight, uh, throughout the season, these and these and everything, uh, Rubber was laying and it was laying quick and I wanted to be the first to find it and I wasn't and uh, those guys ahead of me just did a good job. Hats off to them. What are your plans for 2023? Can we expect any surprises? Oh man, I have no, no idea. It's uh, Like I said, this, uh, this deal requires a lot of time and effort uh, at the end of the year to get all this stuff ready and get it all uh, back here. I haven't even had time to look at spring car stuff, think about spring car stuff. Uh, Got a lot of work to do to get the cars ready and built and all that. I haven't even had a chance to look to work on them, but um, I'm just, I, I would expect us to just kind of do what we always do, is just kind of hit and miss uh, whatever races we want. Don't really run points anywhere or anything, um, but you kind of just never know where we'll end up. I'm sure we'll venture off uh, your way to the Midwest a little bit, um, like we're on Nationals time like we normally do, and run a lot of California and Washington, Oregon, all that stuff on the West Coast. Now, you're... Big 49ers fan, I got one last question. I'm sitting here wearing the Iowa State hat. Is Brock Purdy the greatest quarterback you of all time? He, he is. I love that guy. Uh, man, he's got ice in his veins. He's, he's a cool, uh, seems like a cool dude. And yeah, he performed again tonight. So, uh, yeah, happy to have him for sure. And he's filling some shoes. Uh, you know, Jimmy G always did a great job, but uh, I kind of think he's, uh, we call him BCB, but uh, he's, uh, he's got some flair to him. All right, guys, that's Shane Golbick. You can catch him a ton in California this year. We'll be covering him, and uh, he's sure to make some noise out there. Yeah.